This past week at Ignite, Microsoft just launched Copilot for Business, a brand new SKU specifically with more affordable pricing for SMB customers. In this video, I'll be breaking down what is part of the new offering, a free enablement kit with go-to-market resources you can use to pitch this to your customers, and common FAQs such as if there's a conversion path if you already have Copilot licensing today. Let's go ahead and dive in. Okay guys, so diving in here, this is gonna be quick. I just wanna go through the high level of this new offering, the promotion, the go-to-market material, as well as the FAQs that you might have around the solution. But effectively here, Microsoft's introduced this new Microsoft 365 Copilot business license. It is available for up to 300 users, and you do require a business level SKU, such as basic, standard, or premium as a prerequisite license for this and it's completely the same as the existing offer today that's priced at $30 per user per month. The main thing that they're just doing here as a change is making it more affordable uh, for the average SMB customer, moving it down to $21. Interesting that they came up with $21 specifically as an example of that. Not sure what research or testing went into that um, as part of this decision, but certainly something that I think is pretty interesting to go and study at some point. But here, you can see here, just to follow this up, and I have all this linked in my blog post, so feel free to use that as a resource, not have to take screenshots of this video. But effectively here, you can see side-by-side -side comparison of this SKU versus the existing one. Everything's the same. All the features that you get are the same, um, including some of the add-on services like SharePoint Advanced Management for security and governance around the Copilot solution that you're offering as part of this. The other big thing that they're doing here though, outside of the standalone SKU, is also offering the SKU as a bundle. And there's no cost savings here. Um, as an example, business premium on annual is $22, plus $21 for the standalone product is $43. So it's not, again, any cost difference. It is just simply saying you're reducing license complexity by buying one SKU instead of two SKUs um, as part of this as well too. And as we'll get to here in a second, they're gonna offer some promotion um, behind this. And if you move into this new SKU, you can participate into that promotion um, that they're offering there as well. This does also support the without teams version of business premium or standard uh, that you would wanna see there as well too. Now, the next thing I wanna get into is the promotions behind this as well that they're gonna be offering here from when this gets kicked off, starting December 1st, all the way into the March timeframe. But effectively here, if you take a look at this, they have 15% uh, off of the standalone offer that you can see here where it's $18 instead of 21 as an example. But then if you look at the bundles here, um, you know, with, with standard as part of this, you can go ahead and get 35% off for your first year, minimum 10 seats as part of this for the promotion. And then the business premium offer here, it's 32% off or sorry, $32 and 25% off, again, 10 seat minimum as part of this as well too. The big key thing with all of these is that they are annual commitments um, with this and there's no month to month commitment. Now, the other thing I wanted to talk about here, just to put this in a different view or different context is kind of the market positioning. And we'll get to more of the enablement go to market here in the second. But effectively here, let's say you move a customer that's on business premium today to this new bundle. It's technically with the promotion as far as the upgrade path only just $10 extra per user per month. And so that comparatively to $30 per user per month extra is quite significant, right? If we talk about this one first year promotion as part of that, they can test this out, they can get acclimated to Copilot, see if it's something that they would wanna renew in the future, just knowing that it's going to increase, you know, in that cost perspective um, as they move up there. And then they have this other view here, if you have customers still on business standard, Moving into business premium with Copilot, kind of more of an upgrade to premium security um, as part of this. And then they also have come out, as you guys may have seen, with a newer uh, model here for bolting on Purview and Defender E5 features into premium, which I'm not going to get into as part of this. So there's a few different areas you know, that you can tackle this by. I think this is probably the most attractive, though, that I see as part of this, especially with NCE renewal windows coming up for a lot of our customers. That's usually around that February to March timeframe. Next year, when we talk about enablement, I link this on my blog post, but it's also on the Partner Center announcements here that they've created this launch kit for you. And that's what you see here um, as part of this, which is a whole lot of resources, including the deck I was just sharing with you, but there's more customer facing pitch decks 
that you guys can leverage to talk about the upgrade of the solution. There's one pagers that you can use um, as part of sales sheets. And then there's also email templates that you could try to leverage as well too, to entice your customers, at least get on a conversation with you about doing an upgrade with this. So certainly something I would check out as well too, just to see more of those resources. Finally here, Microsoft has published also an FAQ for partners, which answers a lot of the questions you may be having outside of this. I wanted to reference this because I'm not just blindly answering FAQs. This is documented by Microsoft. A lot of uh, these questions we've covered already as part of this video, all the features are the same, who's eligible to drill to purchase, 300 seats, um, up to 300 seats on the business plans. As part of this, it's enforcing that user cap. Um, what if your users just have more than 300 users, then you use the other plan, you know, the $30 per month per offer um, as part of that. And I think if we skip down here, you know, just because we've, we've covered a lot of these, um, but the ones I want to cover is these are uh, eligible for CSP incentives. So if you're a CSP partner, you're all going to get kickbacks from this. Um, what billing options, you know, month to month is not available, but you can do an annual commit um, as part of these, either prepaid or annual with a monthly payment system. And then the biggest one I would say that's in here, um, which is well, probably a lot of the questions here, which is, you know, if I already have the $30 per month subscription and my customers are already paying for it, can they switch to Copilot Business? And the short answer is no. Um, they can't switch midterm. There's not a conversion path that they're going to move into. They have to fulfill their commitment as it exists today uh, with that. But then, then they go into the renewal. You can convert them over. It's not going to inhibit you from buying additional seats on Copilot Business, and it'll still work the same as part of that, but you can't convert and try to all of a sudden get a new price point as part of this as well, too. So this is more in-depth about the promotional offer and the price points. We went through that on that one slide as part of this, but this is just another um, reference of that. And then, you know, they also mentioned in here monthly building option available with a 5% uplift, which I interpret that as if you do annual paid monthly, they're going to increase your cost by 5% as part of this as well, too. You can add seats um, during this as part of it, and they will, you know, automatically go set to your next renewal date, and they will fold into the promo. And then... This will apply to net new subscriptions person purchased during their promotion window. So net new meaning the standalone SKU or even the new bundled SKU. So if you move from business premium to this new bundle, that would still be termed as a new subscription under that SKU ID, and you'd be eligible for that promotion. So what do you guys think about the new $21 per user per month pricing? Is that going to move the needle on adoption? Let me know in the comments of this video along with any additional questions you might have about the new offer. If you want links to all these resources, be sure to check out my blog linked in the video description where I have all that information. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time.